Yo, what's up guys, John Blue here, and here we are with the Cats of the Cosmos 2 Big Bang Guide. Now before we even get into this, make sure you absolutely have the Cats of the Cosmos 1 treasures done. Now of course, you don't need to have all the treasures, but the important ones, absolutely you must have all of them at Superior. So, all of the start alien treasures, the anti-alien treasure, mystery mask treasure, Get all of those to Superior and then you can continue forward into Cast the Cosmos 2. But of course, you're gonna need some treasures for this as well, so make sure you do grind up those treasures. And as you can see, I'm saving all of my treasure radars so I can just sweep through Cast of the Cosmos 3 and get every single treasure. Don't recommend it, but it's gonna save me a lot of time, so that's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, abuse these Cats of the Cosmos treasure festivals and abuse it well. Anyways, let's hop into the lineup here. As you can see, this is a pretty basic lineup. Basically, just throw in a bunch of anti-aliens. Not too much that it overfills the lineup, but have some very decent anti-aliens like, of course, Chill Cat, a very, very nice anti-alien unit to have. Seafarer, of course, and we have Macho Legs there. And pretty much, if you have any nice Ubers that are anti alien, you can use those as well. But the main thing is a barrier breaker. Have at least one barrier breaker. So if you don't have True Form Kendo, you can use a loincloth, you can use little Macho Legs, and any other barrier breaker uber or unit you might have but generally just have your anti-alien units like seafarer chill cat that'll help nuke out the aliens very quickly and that's what you want to do in this level then have your other units your rusher units like can can you can use fishman as well if you want to if you have an open spot camera is also very replaceable with another rusher unit like if you have maglev and we're gonna use catalyte here it can screw you over but it can help a lot you do not have to bring catalyte but it does help sometimes in rushing cat god since that immune to slow is very helpful but sometimes it can screw you over by triggering the cat god attack so that is a big choice again you don't need catalyte you can just replace it with another staller or another rusher and like I said before camera very replaceable but that survival lethal strike can come in clutch macho legs also very replaceable just a nice anti-alien unit to have you can use king dragon or if you want to use crazed dragon you can use that as well and of course we already talked about maglev if you do have maglev also you can use crazy ufo in replacement with camera if you do not want to use camera Crazy UFO does work as well. Can Can is the main unit just to get in there and deal some very nice burst damage and crowd control Cat God with that knockback, that damage knockback. So it is pretty helpful. And paired with Seafarer and Chill Cat, it is a very nice unit to have. So make sure you do have Can Can. And if you don't have Can Can, you can use Fishman or Maglev. And of course, Chill Cat and Seafarer can both be replaced by Cyborg if you do not have any of them. But Chill Cat is kind of recommended. Paired with Seafarer, it can pretty much nuke out the aliens very quickly. And that's just what you want. And of course, if you have any anti-traitless units, you can use those. Those are very powerful against this level. So you can use those if you have the true form for Sniper Cat or even just regular Sniper Cat. You can use that, you can just bring the sniper power up and we'll hop into that in the second strategy. Since this level is pretty much a huge joke with the sniper power up. Now the Cats of the Cosmos 2 treasures you'll need is of course, get all these starred alien treasures at 100% superior. It does help massively, we only have one that's not at 100% and we don't need it only because our units are a little bit higher leveled. But absolutely get all of the starred alien treasures at 100%, the anti-alien treasure at 100%, and of course, absolutely the mystery mask at 100%. Anyways, we're gonna hop into the first way to beat this level, and that is of course without Sniper Cat, and it makes a very massive difference. So without Sniper Cat power-up, you're gonna want to push hard, because you're not gonna have that much space to manage Cat God's attacks. 
So you want to push hard in the beginning and try to wipe out the units in the beginning here as quick as possible. And so you can move up further and attack Cat God quickly. And in that downtime with the peon cycles like we have right here, there's no peons. You can use that as an opportunity to get some very nice damage on Cat God. Now the enemy cycles are pretty much the same all the time there is just more of the enemy unit you'll have to handle later on so keep that in mind but what you really want to do is just lure out the enemies and take them out take out their barriers with your barrier breaker and then just push hard all over again because in this downtime you want to push him back because if you do not he's just going to keep moving forward and forward because you're gonna have to lure for every peon cycle like here's the next cycle we're gonna have to lure the enemies out in front of cat god and take them out very quickly and that'll cause cat god to move forward and that is why you want to push him back every chance you get in the downtime for the cycles so do not let the peon stack up you want to lure them out and wipe them out quickly because as soon as you let them stack up you're just going to get overrun and on top of Cat God's attacks, it's just not going to be great. Now of course, when you're luring the enemies out, you do not want to trigger Cat God's attack while you're luring the enemies out. It could screw you over pretty hard, so it's either you use your very slow stallers while you're luring, or your ranged stallers if you're using any, or just not stall at all and just lure the enemies out. Either way, just make sure you do not trigger Cat God's attack while you're luring out the enemies because you don't want your barrier breakers to die and if that happens it's just going to take a very long time to wipe out the enemies then that will cause the enemies to stack up and of course you do not want that you want to break their barriers quick and wipe them out quick so you have a huge window to just attack Cat God and wipe him out. And that is the big risk of using Catalyte in this level because he can trigger Cat God's attacks prematurely and that can screw you over sometimes. So just keep that in mind when using Catalyte. But other than that, just lure, use your barrier breakers and use Seafarer and Chill Cat to nuke out the aliens, wipe them out quick. And of course, you'll have that window, and in that opportunity of no peons, that is when you want to push hard at maximum force. As you can see, we took care of that peon wave, now we're gonna push to the max here, and that should pretty much do it in this cycle here. Now of course, you're only gonna have to do this strategy if you don't bring crowd control units for Cat God. If you're using Vendral Cat, if you're using Sniper Cat, or if you're using the Sniper Cat power-up, the strategy changes a lot. And let's hop into that. So of course, we're going to use the most common one here, the Sniper Cat power-up. But of course, if you have the unit, you can use that as well. And of course, if you want to go above and beyond and use Vendor Cat, that works as well. Either way, it's going to be the same in the start off here. And what you're going to want to do is, of course, lure the enemies. It's pretty much the opposite of the previous run. This time we can actually crowd control Cat God effectively, so after we lure the enemies and wipe them out, we're gonna have this time period where we can unleash all hell on Cat God with Sniper Cat, and he will constantly be getting crowd controlled. Since his attack animation is super long, it is very easy to just bully around Cat God with Sniper Cat power up and just rush with your very rushing units like of course Fishman, A Bahamut, and of course your burst damage dealer Can Can, Seafarer. And as you can see here, this is the window. We have a whole bunch of time here and of course we're going to get damage knockbacks as well. So if you don't get that sniper knockback, you're going to get damage knockbacks in between. So basically, you can pretty much infinitely knock back Cat God if you do get the right placements. And if you manage to stack up your anti-alien nukers in the beginning and your barrier breakers, the peons can pretty much get wiped out within seconds and then it's pretty much just back to Cat God alone and that abusing sniper knockback Cat God's attack animation is just way too slow and Sniper Cat power up pretty much destroys this stage completely. So yeah, if you have Sniper Cats to spare, this is definitely the way to go as you can pretty much abuse this stage very easily. 
with Sniper Cat power up and your rushers, but that's pretty much it as far as strategy goes. But some tips I can give is, of course, make sure you do stack up enough anti alien units like Chill Cat. You want to have Chill Cat just completely nuke out the peons so you have as much time with Cat God alone. So make sure you do stack up a lot of Chill Cats and Seafarers to quickly deal with the peons so you can fully focus on Cat God and just bully him the whole time. Yeah, if you happen to mess up the knockback chain and let's say you aren't able to burst down the peons quick enough and Cat God gets his attack off, all you gotta do is just lure the enemies out again, wipe them all out, and then continue that knockback cycle once again, and you're pretty much set. Yeah, that wraps up the Cats of the Cosmos 2 Big Bang Guide. Of course, don't forget to claim your cat food. And of course, the reward for clearing Cats of the Cosmos 2 is of course the Cat God unit, which is an okay unit. It does help greatly in some of the little cats if you haven't gotten those already. So that's a huge plus. Of course, if you're struggling with any of the stages before the Big Bang and you can't quite beat any of the stages in between the issue is of course treasures that is the only solution get all of the previous treasures then you will have no issues with the levels in between and once again if you're having troubles with some of the restrictions like let's say you are struggling with the special cats only restriction then just make sure you have all the treasures and level 30 true forms and you shouldn't have an issue that much. Yeah, that pretty much does it for this guide. Drop a like if this guide helped you out. Subscribe if you're new, of course. Join the hashtag Google gang. That's it guys for this video. It's been John Google and see ya.